Hey guys, welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. So today we'll be opening some Divine Lucky Envelopes. So I have about 1,752 Divine Envelopes over here. These are the one gold thing per envelope and you can only get 16 per day. So let's check how much they are on the auction house. Well, not Black Lion Trading Company. So that's about like a 134 or 135, about that discrepancy. I guess you get a, like a 35 silver profit. That's I think that's how like the, the game economy always balances itself out. Like the chances of opening something like this uh, will net you this kind of, you know, return. So let's see if that is true for um, this. Uh, how many where whatever we got here. So we got 1752 and that thing is supposed to be worth what? One point thirty four. So technically, we should be getting around 2,347.68 gold uh, back, right? Or more, because or, or or somewhere close to this number, because that's what the auction house is uh, setting us for. So let's see if that is correct. Actually, let me try to open a new calculator so we can compare this number with the number that we get by opening all of this. So right now I have 750 magic find. Uh, this is the cap for this um, year. I remember last time I was able to get to up to 900, but I guess they have a cap now. So how do I know that 750% is a cap? Well, you could test it. Look, I have a nourishment over here with 170 condition damage and 10%. There's no magic find on this, right? And if I ate a food, I gave magic find, so let's say I buy a winter berry over here, and this thing gives an extra 30% magic find over here. So if I click it, and what does what happens to my magic find stays 750%. So don't bother trying to get over 750. I tried to get over 750 with the black lion boost and you know celebration booster, and then I also went to silver waste to get perseverance. Yeah, it, don't don't waste your time on that. You only get 750 to nowadays. I guess they they decreased or they nerfed the magic find. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it then. Um, let's start opening all this. Wait, let me just deposit and just I just like to have it all in one little thing. All right, let's go. Oh wait, uh, I should sell my lanterns first before I even do anything. Like sell any excess things to actually get the right amount. So let me just sell that off. Bad time so all the trash items there okay now and now we pay attention to my gold as well which is six eight eight two point three thirteen what we don't care about the silver right <laughs> doesn't matter too much all right let's do this opening them all you know i'm probably gonna keep these essence of luck because if i were to make arene legendary i think you need a lot of these so might might as well keep them yeah, these little lucky rabbit lanterns aren't even worth selling on TP, but they are worth 8 silver, 88 copper, so that's something to keep in mind. Might as well just sell it to inventory. Do I even have enough space? I should. That's a lot of essences, right? I think I should just craft it into that. Which this character does have. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. I wonder if... Uh, if people are able to see that, <laughs> uh, that would be so um, annoying if people can see this on their screen. That's valuable. Oh no, I'm running out of space. Oh, what's this? 88. I should probably unlock the skin too. It's not like it's going to sell for a lot on the TP, right? I'm pretty sure it's less than that. Oh, wow, it is. It actually sell. Why? Oh, it's a back piece, level 80. That's why. Yeah, we don't need any of that. And then two left here. Boom. So, as you can see, that's what we get for our opening 1752 uh, Divine Envelopes. Let's compact these together and uh, should I organize? What is, oh, new year weapon chest. Um, do we care about the XP ones? I, I don't even want to count these. Like, uh, it's a waste. do we care about the essences too? No, right? We just care about the ones that give net gold, right? Yeah, I don't want to count the 
stuff. I know for science sake you should be counting everything, but hey man. Whoa, that's 719. Hey man, we don't got a lot of time to count everything. I got work to do, man. These days, I got I don't even have enough time to play Guild Wars 2, so I don't want to count. Well, you can see here. You can count yourself if you're really, really curious about how much these things are worth. But, um, yeah, just pause the video if you really want to count it. But I'm just mostly interested in how much gold I get back in return. So our name, our main number is to beat this number over here. So we got the superior runes of sunflowers. What's this? How much these things cost? Oh, that, that's a pretty decent amount of pennies. Um, if you sell on TP, it does, oh, it's only 71 silver. Is it even worth Selling one of these, 93, 7, nah, yeah, it's better to sell it on the TP. 17.94, that's more than, that's like almost one rabbit per envelope, but a little bit more. Because I had 17.52, and this is, gives me 17.94. And then this is 81 over here, and then this rest of the crap here. So why don't I just, oh, instead of that, that we got 33, not 32. Okay, let's just unlock this skin just in case if I haven't unlocked it yet. So, okay, let's see what we get. I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna start selling, all right? I'm gonna start selling. Start selling over here. All right, watch this number 6682. Six, oh, 6882. Okay, we're starting with that number. Sell junk. Holy moly, look at that. We just got a lot and I'm just gonna sell. Wait, is it better to salvage this or sell it? Okay, you can't salvage back pieces, but you probably can Mystic Forge them. Oh yeah, you can. Oh no, you cannot. <laughs> oh, there probably is a Mystic Forge recipe for that, but... Uh... I didn't even play anything on the new year. I just, all I did was buy the divine. I'm pretty sure someone's going to get triggered and be like, dude, don't sell it to vendor. You're about to waste some gold because you can make something out of that. And I don't know the recipe. I'm too lazy to look, man. I got no time at all, man. I just got no time. I just, I'm just going to sell it like that. And these, you can actually sell it for a gold, something like that. Oh, damn. That's a lot. Whoa. Should I do selling or what this? What was the difference between here? Yeah, it's negligible. It's like a gold. All right. Oh, I still have one more. Oh, this is. Oh, I count bound this. And this you can also sell for thirty-six gold. So we got forty-three gold on top of that. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take it now. Right, so I think that's everything that can be sold to vendor. Yep, that's everything that can be sold to vendor and also everything that I can sell on TP as well. Everything else is just excess things like the food. Should I even count the food? No, it's so negligible that you shouldn't even count the food. Yeah, the food is nothing. Well, but that's how many. Well, you don't even get any food from the envelopes, do you? Or barely any. You don't even get any stacks of these dumplings. That's so little. How, if you get this little food from the envelope, how the hell does these things work so little? I guess other activities in the festival get you that thing. Okay. Well, anyways, yeah, that's all of the thing and. New salvage. Yeah, they don't even give you that much. But anyways, so we started out with six six eight two or six eight eight two, and we're trying to beat two three four seven. So what? How do you do math? You subtract the final number from this for nine, two, four, three. Oh, we just came out ahead by about three. Wait, I could just add these two together. Huh? Yep, I, I don't want to get rid of this number yet. Uh, But I, I just, just do it in your head, bro. Do it in your head. That's like 14 gold extra. 
Yeah, 14 gold extra. So the chance of you making a little bit bet more than just buying it off the TP, let's say. So if you bought, if I actually bought the divine envelopes over here, right? We, we did it on the buying power over here. So we just bought two, like, 1752 envelopes from the TP, which is 1752 uh, it will it will cost us this amount, right? And then we'll get back this amount on a chance. So 14 gold profit if you just bought it straight up with buy order. But if you bought it from just using your gold a daily, one gold per envelope, you'll be getting how many back? So I wasted... Uh, 1752, you'll be getting a 609 gold profit from buying it for one gold. That's how much profit you'll get. And the profit you'll get by just buying off the TP at buy order price is 14 gold. So there you go. Uh, hopefully my math was correct. If I was wrong, correct me down there. My videos tend to have some errors a lot of the times, but hey man, why, why did you subscribe to me? Because I provide content other people don't provide. Okay, anyways, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I did not reach 10k gold. I, I thought I could have reached 10k gold from doing all that. But unfortunately, I did not. So, yeah. Guys, if you liked the video, please like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.